Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. How are you guys? I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. So let's see what your message is. As always, please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. If the message doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. Also, follow me on TikTok. I have joined TikTok recently. Um, that's where I will be posting most of the uh, individual zodiac sign readings. And uh, yeah, follow me at the Dream Clairvoyant. So let's get started. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Remember that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody. All right. You have the Four of Wands. Excellent. You have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. You have the High Priestess. Hmm. Hmm. Clarify this Four of Wands here. Clarify the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is all about redemption, celebrations, it's commitments and marriage, happy moments. Clarify the Four of Wands. Clarify the Four of Wands. Clarify the Four of Wands. Let's see. Clarify the Four of wands the heart one clarify the four of wands all right hmm i feel like I just heard something has been completed, like something has been complete, something has been complete. Something has been completed. Something's complete. <laughs> Give me a second, you guys. Let me tap more into that. Um, so this is a moment of celebration. This is a moment of rejoicing that's coming towards you if it hasn't already. Something in your life has been completed. And I see you rejoicing. I see you celebrating. The moon represents, could represent using your, really when you see the moon, it says use, use your intuition so that you can see what's hidden, okay? Um, it could talk about secrets and deception and false people, but I don't feel like that's what it is. It's almost like it's saying, use your intuition, tap in. There's something here that you're not seeing, something that you're overlooking or dismissing. Let's look more into this moon here. Clarify the moon, clarify the moon. The Seven of Cups. Clarify the moon. The Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, we have two sevens here. The Seven of Cups is all about thinking, right? Sorting out your thoughts, weighing your options, perhaps. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles, making some investments, committing yourself to achieving your goals, committing yourself in a relationship, a career, a project. Someone who's very persistent in pursuing what it is that they want, It's like saying change your perspective. Hmm. Change your, yeah, change your viewpoint here. Let me see. Clarify the moon. This is a message about, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. You will receive what is rightfully yours. So have a more optimistic uh, mindset and change your perspective a little bit. That's what I'm hearing when it comes to... I guess what you're working on, I don't know if it's like a project that you're working on or if you're trying to save up money or you're trying to make money. Hmm. The Ace of Pentacles is a blessing of prosperity. So really it's like whatever you touch, right? Whatever you start, you will gain your abundance, rightfully so, justice card, receiving what you deserve. You have that blessing of prosperity. I feel like you're the kind of person where, you know, 
everything you touch turns to gold. So just make up your mind when it comes to work, when it comes to how you're making your money and be optimistic because indeed you will you will get your your material abundance here. Your financial blessing, should I say? Yeah, literally, the empress is someone who's very abundant. Okay? But I feel like your thought process, your your thinking here needs to be more optimistic, more positive. Let me see. The Knight of Wands is someone who yeah, the Knight of Wands is someone who's on a passionate pursuit. Pursue your goals passionately. Pursue your passion um, with, a, with a positive outlook here. Clarify, tell us more about this Knight of Wands. Tell us more about this Knight of Wands. The Emperor, take charge, take control. Whatever you have in mind, go for it. You have the blessing of prosperity. Everything you touch turns to gold. Remember that. You just have to have faith, the strength, overcoming difficulties, right? Being courageous, being courageous when pursuing your passion. The Ace of Swords represents the truth. It represents com communication, but it also represents starting something new, starting a new project. Hmm. Yeah. Pursue your new project, your new goals, your new ideas with passion and optimism. Have faith. Have faith, literally the sun, positivity, happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, fertility, prosperity, right? You have the gift of prosperity. So remember, if you want it, go for it with faith and it'll happen. The seven of swords, or excuse me, the six of swords, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Look. So many pentacles have been coming out for you. The fool taking a leap of faith and the ten of pentacles. This, this is a life of many rewards, success, stability, security. It even represents lump sums of money, business empires, generational wealth. This can be yours, right? That blessing has been given to you. Now you just have to pursue your passion. What is it that you're trying to do here? What What is the goal? You know, is it a new venture? Is it a project? Is it a business idea? Let me see. It's something that you strongly desire with the devil card. Let's see. You even have the lover's card that's here. The lover's represents a soulmate connection. It also represents a choice. Hmm. I feel like this is something that's driven by your willpower, your free will. This is something that you want. Okay, um, yeah, literally the cards are just confirming it. This is something that you want, you desire, you've selected this, this goal, this project, this career, this idea, you've selected it by your free will. That's what the lover's card represents, using free will to make a choice, right? The magician, this is from your, your willpower, right? To, to get this, to, to get this success, to get this reward, to get this financial prosperity here. The magician, it says you can get it if you're willing to work for it. The magician is a manifester. The magician knows how to utilize all of their tools and resources, their skills, their gifts, their talents, their knowledge and wisdom to manifest, to bring to life their manifestations. So it can happen. What your goal is, it can, it can be achieved you just have to have faith and also do the work. Literally, page of pentacles, right? You may be trying to figure out ways to make money. I feel like that's what it is with the page of pentacles here. How can you um, financially increase, financially prosper, right? Um, with with uh, your work, your creativity, your projects, your ideas, your innovations. You're trying to see how you can make some financial abundance out of it. But the Five of Cups, it's like you may be a little bit pessimistic, okay? And you have to have faith. The more you have faith, the more it'll happen, okay? So, and just remember that things take time, okay? 
Let's look at this Knight of Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Let's look at that. Clarify this Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Five of Wands. It's conflict. There's some conflicts going on here. Let's see what this is. Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups. Five of Wands is, is it's tension, it's conflict, it's competition. Yeah, okay. Both the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. There is someone here. The Knight of Swords is an action card. It is a swift action taker. It could even be someone who's who's quite military-like, aggressive even. Someone who takes action without fearing the consequences. This is, I wonder what this is about. It's like a whole nother story here. Um, hmm. I feel like you're about to, I feel like you're about to have a hard time with someone. Someone who you have so much potential to have a happily ever after with, but it's something with their, this person can be a little bit aggressive, temperamental maybe even. What is this Knight of Swords here? Yeah, you see the tower almost came out. What in the world? This is someone who is a swift action taker. So they're very assertive. Sometimes though, they act too quickly without thoroughly thinking first. You know, without thoroughly thoroughly thinking about it first. And then they end up regretting some, some things here. I feel like this person is also a little bit temperamental. I feel like with the Five of Wands, there's some conflict here. There's some drama. What is this Five of Wands about? Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person has like an offer of a commitment that they want to present to you, but man, they're competitive. They're competitive. There may be competition. There may be other people who are interested in you. Feel free to reverse the roles. But there may be other people who are interested in you. And they don't like that. Clarify the five of wands. Tell us more about this five of wands. Because, because both the five of wands and the five of swords came out. Let me see. Two of Pentacles. This person. What is this? There's some sort of. Tell us more about this. You see, it's about you. Like they see you as the Empress, the most beautiful. You know, they're putting on a pedestal. No one compares to you. And indeed, this person doesn't play about you. But I feel like they've been like, it's almost like, you see, it's like they've been competing with other people for you. Or like if they find out that someone's interested in you, they will go and like pick a fight with that person. And it's causing instability. Because they're having a hard time managing their temperament. Controlling their temp their temper their temperament. Can't even talk. <laughs> you know, like this is someone who will pick a fight. Like if they if they see someone look at you a certain way or something or talk about you, they go and they confront that person. Oh my. Tell us more about this five of wands. What is this? Page of wands. Yeah, uh, it's people, okay, you must be someone who's really attractive or something like sexy or something here. Because with the Page of Wands, 
Um, yeah, y'all, I can't make this up. I can't make this. I can't make this up. I literally said, you must be someone who's sexy, very attractive because, and literally the page of wands, queen of wands came out. So when people talk about you, I feel like you have caught the attention of other men or women and they talk about you and they talk about how like really attractive or sexy and just stunning, gorgeous, handsome you are, male or female. And literally the Queen of Wands came out. Out of the deck, the Queen of Wands is, is known to be very sexy, very attractive, right? Very confident, powerful, fierce. Um, so this person, like there could be people saying how hot you are, handsome, gorgeous, sexy you are. And when your person, when this Knight of Swords hears about it, they confront that person. Okay. Okay. You're you're their empress. They don't play about you. Okay. The empress is the most powerful, most beautiful, you know, mature, wise, feminine energy. Um I almost feel like someone tried to compliment you, but in a vulgar way, you know. And this, this person did not like that at all. There are some harsh consequences here. Okay. Oops. Well. So what's happening here, the Two of Swords... The thing is, I, I don't even know if you know about this. Like, no one is really telling you, Page of Cups, no one's communicating this to you. No one's telling you about this. I don't know if you know. Yeah, but there's, no one's telling you about it, but with the Page of Swords, there may be some, some gossip too. The Page of Swords is like spying from a distance watching, like someone saw it. I'm telling you, someone saw it, but they're not telling you. Tell us more about this page of swords. Sometimes the page of swords could be gossip, rumors. Oh, dang, yeah. Maybe even several people saw it, but they're not telling you they wouldn't dare. I think some people are scared of your lover. Three of wands. Three of Wands is like waiting for your ship. No, it's like they're like people like someone saw it or people saw it, but like they pretended like they didn't. Cause I mean, cause I feel like this Knight of Swords is scary. <laughs> you know, there were witnesses, and it's almost like they just turned around really, really quickly to look like they didn't see anything because they didn't want to get in trouble either. You know, the Three of Cups is even here. I'm telling you, there were witnesses. Well. Yeah, that's why your person is showing up as a five of wands, five of swords. They tend to, five of wands is conflict, five of swords, the thing is, they like to get their point across. They like to make themselves very clear, but in a scary way, I feel. Um... Five of Swords is like accepting defeat, surrendering, and walking away. That's how they make the other people feel, right? That's how, if there are people who are talking about how attractive, sexy you are, your person intervened and made them feel so defeated. Like, oh, let me just back off. Let me just walk away. Clarify the power of font. <clears throat> the High Priestess.
The high priestess represents someone who is um, sometimes secretive, mysterious. It could also represent someone who's very spiritual and intuitive. Um, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is like contemplation. Then you have the Queen of Cups that's here. Have the Four of Cups. There's more about the High Priestess. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Okay, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're sitting in this High Priestess energy here where, um, first of all, you have a lot on your mind. With the Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, you have too much on your mind. So my, my uh, advice for that go into prayer and meditation to clear your head, okay? Um, and just try to relieve yourself of anything that's out of your control. If you have too much going on in your mind, write it down. I just feel like you're so thought-filled. Um, it's a little bit unhealthy here. Um, you know, the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This is a sweetheart here. This is someone who is very kind, very caring towards others, very intuitive as well, which makes sense. Queen of Cups are like your psychics even, and still, even with the High Priestess, these are people who are very spiritually gifted. But I feel like the Four of Cups, something here has been really bothering you. The Four of Cups represents uh, fulfillment. Yeah, it represents, not fulfillment, it represents unfulfillment, sorry trying to double concentrate here. I'm channeling and then I'm also reading the cards. I feel like the Four of Cups is, it's unfulfillment, it's dissatisfaction, but it's like you're not saying it. You're just keeping it to yourself. Hmm. You're even sitting here as a Nine of Pentacles, someone who's very successful, very well accomplished, very self-sufficient, independent. But I feel like you've been feeling dissatisfied but you're just keeping it to yourself, sort of, maybe even internalizing it. Let me see, you have the judgment, final decision. King of Swords. I feel like you're trying to, I feel like this King of Swords is this Knight of Swords here. Um, they become a Knight of Swords when they take action. It's almost like, hmm. Judgment. There's something here that you're needing to see about this King of Swords, I'm telling you, because they're really good at, at like doing these things behind your back. I don't feel like you know. I don't feel like you know that they. Um, six of Wands. They don't. Six of Wands, victory, recognition, accomplishment here. Hmm. This person, there's something here that you need to that you need to know about this individual. You know, we all have our good and bad side, right? We all have our flaws, and there's always room for improvement for everyone. This person here, they have. I'm telling you, they're Knight of Swords. They act very fast. They act swiftly. They will confront people. They will intervene. They like to make people feel very defeated. They like to assert themselves over people. I even feel like with the Six of Wands, they have quite an obnoxious side. Like they like to make a statement with the, with their actions. Um, and when they're done dealing with people, the person ends up feeling the person ends up feeling really really defeated. You know. Um, there's something here that you need to know about this person. I'm telling you, like something here you need to see so that you can make a decision about them. Okay. So you can make a decision about, even if this is a new connection, you need to see this about them so that you can make a decision whether or not you want to move forward with them. You know, the judgment is like, it's calling your attention to something like, like your attention needs to be on this person and their temperament. And some of the aggressive things that they do. 
not to you, but to other people. Okay. Um, because it may be something that will make you want to turn turn away from them with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it may be something that you'll be like, nope, I don't want to deal with this kind of person. The way I'm seeing Eight of Cups, walking away from an investment. Ten of Swords, Chariot. Ten of Swords, that's harsh lessons. And then the Chariot is forward movement. I don't even feel, I don't feel like this person would ever hurt you, but they would hurt other people. And when I say hurt other people, I mean like, this person can be scary. And I just want to make it clear, I don't see any violence here. Okay, I don't see any violence, but they can be very aggressive, very temperamental, military-like, you know. But no, I don't see any violence here. Um, but... They do often make people feel very defeated. There's something, I don't know if it's the way they talk to people, the things that they say and do to people, um, that just makes people feel like this. Five of Swords. Completely defeated. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I made myself clear, you know? Six of Wands. See how this man has his chest up like that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's the word? Pompous or something like that. Pompous. Like, there's... I hope y'all know what I mean. They end up making people feel like this. Like, they end up making people feel so defeated. And so, Ten of Swords is like feeling ruined. Left in ruins and feeling defeated, you know? Depleted, should I say. And then the sun, the, the chariot is success, you see? Then they end up feeling really good. Like, there's this thing where this person, oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah, there's a side to them that you need to know first. Because I feel like it's hidden. I feel like maybe that's even why the high priestess, let me see, tell us more about this, something about this individual. I'm trying to pick up on it some more. Eight of Pentacles. There is something that this person is doing. I'm telling you, <laughs> like this is a one where they're one way with you and another way with other people. Okay, they're one way. It's like when you're looking, they're this eight of pentacles, focusing on work, making improvements, you know, being hardworking and successful. When you're looking at them, they're showing you this side of them, Knight of Cups. They're sweet, warm, and inviting side. But I'm telling you, to other people, to other people, this person is scary. Nine of Cups. Yeah, they like to, there's something about, Nine of Cups is like, it's, it's fulfillment, it's satisfaction, it's success. But it's like they like to dominate other people over assert themselves over other people the hermit but i'm oh, look at this seven of swords i knew i wasn't crazy i knew i wasn't crazy because it's almost like this person knows how to shield themselves. Like, it's almost like they are a chameleon. Like, <laughs> this person can shape shift. I knew it. I was like, I'm picking up on something. I almost feel like they were trying to trick the cards as well. I was tapping into their darker side and the Nine of Cups came out and I'm like, mm, yeah, right. It's almost like they're like, what are you talking about? Like, Nine of Cups, success, satisfaction, fulfillment. I'm, you know, <laughs> but I'm like, no, there's something that's hidden. You're trying to Trying to hide that part of you. The Hermit card. Boom. You see, Seven of Swords. Being sneaky. Trying to get away with something. This person has a dark side. And it has everything to do with their temperament. But they hide it with the Hermit. Do you see how this man, he's in the dark. And his only source of light is this lamp. 
The hermit represents um, discovery. So you will really have to keep an eye on this person to, to catch them when they're in this. Because I feel like they'll do it behind your back when you're not looking. Like, I feel like this person is sweet to you and sour to others. Yeah, that's crazy. You'll really, it's something you'll really have to look into because they know how to get away with this sort of behavior with the Seven of Swords, okay? This, man, that's all I have to say here. That's all I see, all right? Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the message. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you guys. Take care and many blessings to you.